What's up everybody? Bill Zerman from Internet Marketing Wizard. This is going to be a hopefully quick video on how to make two installations of WordPress on the same domain. Got a lot of questions recently on this and seems people aren't aware you can do this. Yes, you can do this and we actually do it quite a bit. One big reason we do it is that we have, let's say, on the root domain, a installation of WordPress with your main blogging type of theme. Okay, and then on a subdirectory, we will install another installation of WordPress. And on that installation, we'll have another theme that's more for sales pages, squeeze pages, stuff like that. Let's say something like Optimize Press. Okay, even on our, on our, on our main domain, internetmarketingwizard.com, we have one theme on internetmarketingwizard.com. And then we have on internetmarketingwizard.com slash offers, so we have Optimize Press installed which we have our sales pages, squeeze pages, and other type of random pages um, as well. Okay, so pretty easy to do. I'm going to run through it real quick. Um, on the screen here is your basic cPanel. Everyone should have this. Okay, and uh, on this, uh, this host uses Installatron. It's the same as Softaculous or Fantastico, so really basically the same. Um, steps should be very similar, so you know don't don't stress over the different screens. Basically, when you click on the application, you're going to click to install WordPress, which I'm doing now. Okay, I'm going to click on install this application. All right, now I have a few domains on this this hosting account. It's the uh, shared account, so I'm going to go ahead and choose my domain. You might not have to make that step. If you only have one domain on one hosting account, it's going to show up here automatically. Okay. So now the location of the, of the install, it has blog here. I'm going to erase that because I want it on the root domain. I want it installed on a tiny revolution.com. Okay. And as you can see here, it's going to show me where it's going to be installed. Okay. I'm going to keep all these defaults. You know, if you're using something else, you can read through it, make sure that everything looks good, but normally you don't have to change anything. I'm going to leave the username and password here and install it. Okay, it's installing 97% here, almost done. Okay, now we're done. As you can see, it's installed on the root. Here's our admin link. I'm going to click on this and it's going to take me to the admin link where I can log in. All right, now let's say that's configured I installed the theme everything is good now I want to install WordPress on another directory very simple go back to your application here WordPress install the application now here I'm gonna choose a directory you don't have to create this directory ahead of time the software will create it for you so let's say I want to put an offers directory and like I said from my example before this I'll have let's say oh, let me choose my domain not forget that um, this is going to have something like Optimize Press on it or Flex Squeeze, something like this, where I'm going to have my squeeze pages and sales pages. Okay, I'm going to keep all the defaults and click install. Okay, now we're almost done here. 97, 98, 100%, we're good. Now it's installed on slash offers and another separate WordPress login on offers click on that there you go and there I'll log in and install a different theme to create my sales pages or whatnot okay I hope this helps any questions leave a comment let me know do my best to help you guys out thanks a lot